Hi guys, welcome back to Webjeda. So in the previous videos, we saw how to fetch data from a GraphQL endpoint. Uh, in this one, we'll see how to create our own GraphQL endpoint. So for that, I'm going to be using uh, something called Apollo Server First World Kit. This is, I found this to be uh, quite easier to create an endpoint. Now we are, we'll have to install these dependencies. So I have a skeleton app running here. So uh, I'm going to install these dependencies. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see how uh, we can do this. So, uh, so in our routes, we can uh, create this file. Uh, we can also do it uh, somewhere else. If you think, you know, maybe API or somewhere, but let's do it in the route. Okay, so I'm going to paste everything here and this is it. This should work. Uh, let me go to the index here. So I'll create a script tag and then uh, maybe I'll make this uh, into a context module script so that I can have a load function and uh, fetch these, uh, fetch from this API. And here uh, I'll have const response equals um, await fetch. So when we are awaiting, so we'll have to use uh, asynchronous function. So our endpoint is GraphQL. I'll have async here. Okay. And in the previous one, we saw that you know this is not enough. We'll have to uh, pass in query as well. So we'll have to do uh, we'll have to make the method as post and uh, we also need headers uh, something like this content type sorry as application json and finally uh, body uh, json dot stringify and then an object and here we should have something called query and here we'll have the query and the query we're gonna have is uh, this I think uh, ping so let's see how to query this I think we can use something like query uh, ping I'm guessing that should that should give us something uh, after this we get data uh, we'll have to await rest.json and console log the data just to see if it comes I mean if it is correct we'll return props uh, we will not return anything for now uh, let's check this out and I have data here and I got pong so maybe I can make this, I can restructure it here so that I get the Pong right away. Yeah, so I got this. So I will print that out here itself. Stringify data. So I haven't gotten the data yet. So I'll pass it in the return statement and then the way we get that is through a normal script export lit data so once this is there we'll get it in our dom so right now it's undefined uh, ping and pong so we got it now um so this is this has been uh, really simple so there was this one thing and we got it let's say let's say we want uh, more okay so maybe something like a name or something so uh, we'll have to define the type of that that would be string uh, this this is required I think uh, let's keep it not required now we'll do name uh, this is the resolvable function so what should be what should be given out when the name is queried so uh, let's say my name here so in here if I change the query in our index to ping and also name in the data I should get along with ping I should get my name as well 
So this is how you do it. And let's say you want something like an array of uh, something. So that uh, we can look it up in Apollo's documentation. Uh, so they have this uh, books. Okay, so let me copy that. So I can put it in somewhere uh, outside. So this will be books. And then in resolver, I should do this books uh, to books uh, here. And the uh, type, I, I think uh, I will have to mention uh, something like this. Yeah. So what are the components in it? What are the you know things in it uh, inside those, the object and the types of those? So it will have title and author. And this is how it works. So now if I go here, I can make a, a query uh, books. I think this should be fine. Okay. Query of books. If I make query of books, I will have to define title about that. Okay, so I go here. I look for books, uh, but I have to get title. Uh, even I think even I cannot get author as well. But let me get the title first. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's not working. Why? Query books that fine books it's books and let me let me check oh okay so books should be uh, in in here as well uh, books should be book uh, I think the capital book that we defined here all right so once that is done so this should give us yeah it's giving the title uh, books and just the title if i in the query i mention author as well it should give me the author along with the book so yeah guys so this is how easy it is to create an endpoint a simple endpoint in uh, using this apollo server so in the in the future videos we'll see some other clients as well so subscribe guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.